Have you noticed the amount of stuff that we either throw out in landfills or recycle? Well, I'm not what I would consider a tree hugger by any means, but I do like to look at things that I'd otherwise discard and wonder if there was something else I could do with them. If this sounds like you, then stick around and I'll show you a very simple 3D printed design that allowed me to do some upcycling. And if you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe so I can help continue to inspire you to make your world. Hi, I'm Steve and I make everything. The other day somebody gave me a bunch of these jars. These are actually, they had yogurt or something in them. And I looked at them and thought, well, there's a really nice lip on the side and I could use these for spices or something else, if only they had a lid. So in this video, which should be fairly short, I'll show you how to create a very simple lid for this kind of jar that snaps on and seals pretty tightly. The first thing we need to do though is take a few measurements and we'll get out our set of calipers for that and you know as you can see there the jar is around 55 millimeters in diameter which is the most important measurement and the lip is about four millimeters thick so that's really all we need to know to to get to the point where we can make a, a lid for this. I popped into Fusion and the first to design the lid and the first thing we need to do of course is create a, a sketch plane. Now I'm going to start actually from the outside of the lid and work my way in and on the outside I want to have a bit of a lip so that I'll make that um, 66 millimeters and just to make it easy to pop on and off I'll add uh, just a little ellipse here uh, to uh, just to make it easy for somebody to get their finger on it and it's actually almost a circle so we'll make it a little smaller and we'll want to put that right down on the center line all right and well, that's close enough really okay and Let's actually, let's push it in towards the center a little so we get a much nicer kind of, kind of lip here. We want our thumb to be about that big. So let's just make sure these things touch the edge there. And we don't need the inside piece, so I'll just trim that away and we can trim that piece as well. So there we have a lid and you can see it has a bit of a thumb hold on it so you can pop it off. And now we can, we can work on the inside of our, our lid. And I, you saw I measured it was about 55 millimeters, so we want a bit of tolerance. So we'll make the inside of the lid 56. And we also want to make sure that there's maybe a two millimeter wall there. So um, we'll make this uh, 60. So it's two millimeters all around. Uh, and there's our, there's our lid. Um, so that's all we need for the sketch. Now we wanna start extruding this. So we'll, we'll extrude out um, the whole lid. Uh, again, maybe two millimeters. And you can see it's, it's, a, it's got a bit of thickness to it. And now the center piece, uh, where the where we're going to have the um, the piece that actually holds the lid. And sorry, let's accept that. And now we'll we'll extrude uh, to make the walls the the rim of the lid. And let me turn on sketch here. And again, we'll extrude that and from the top of the lid to the bottom of the ring, it'll be maybe six millimeters. And you can see that's a cut. So we did, we'll, we'll make it a join. And there you can kind of see the inside of our lid if I accept this. And you can see it's starting to look a bit like a lid. Now, the one thing we want to do to make it snap on, we need to put a bit of a, a, a bit of an oval or a circle uh, around the top here so that there's a bit of tension when it goes on. So we'll create a new sketch right on top of the, of the ring 
And in there, what we're gonna do is put a pipe in here. So we'll make this, um, uh, we want it to be slightly inside of center and we'll make that uh, 57 and a half millimeters. And what we're gonna do on that line is we're gonna create a pipe and, uh, sorry. Uh, so we'll create a pipe on, on that line and we'll make the pipe, uh, two and a quarter is actually fine. And you can see it kind of comes out to the, actually let's make it just slightly larger, maybe 2.35, 2.45, okay. Um, so you can see it comes right out to the edge of the outer part of the lip, but on the inside, and here if I put a, um, if, if I create an, ins an inspection line and we put a section in here and we look at this, you can actually see there's just a little bit of a, a dimple kind of hanging out in onto the inside of the lid and that's just enough to that it should make it snap on and we can get rid of that so that's pretty much our lid we can do a couple things here to, to make it a little more functional uh, here where there's a, an overhang um, we can put just a bit of a fillet in there uh, you know one and a half or even two should be fine and then on the top to make it a little rounder we can put another fillet and we'll make that um, well one one and a half sure uh, and there we go if i turn off the sketches you can kind of see the whole lid here now um, and i notice our tab didn't didn't get the the fillet so let's let's do this again and we'll make sure we select the that as well now we probably because it's a little thinner we may not be able to go one and a half here you know, it looks like we can okay there we go and there's our lid so all we have left to do is is print it and and see it see if it fits so we'll come back after uh, after i do a bit of a print so as you can see, the 3D CAD design in Fusion 360 was actually pretty simple. It's basically a couple of circles and, a, and a, one or two extrusions and a, and a fillet. So with that now in place, we can quickly print one of these. And I'll show you a quick time lapse as we print it. And with these will take uh, maybe 20, 25 minutes to print on my SlicePy 3 printer. So. We'll go ahead and, and print a couple of those and then we should be good to go with um, just putting the lids on and starting to use them. So with our printing done, we can now try these on the jars. And as you can see, they snap on quite nicely and with just a thumb on the tab, uh, they will pop right off. And I haven't tried to see if they'll hold water, but certainly they fit fairly snugly. So they should keep everything that you have in them, um, you know, sealed fairly well. So try them out. So there you have our very easy project to upcycle some, some old jars that otherwise would have ended up in landfill or using extra energy and recycling to man manufacture them into something else. And now I can use them for spices in my, in my house or even to store hardware, small screws and things in my shop here. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and certainly like the video and click that bell in the bottom below the video to be notified if there are any additional videos that may, may or may not help you make your world. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.